Is that a... It is! It's one of those uh, floppy disk drives that were like... <laughs> Oh, what is that? Uh, scan disk. Uh, um, uh, okay, so when when I was uh, in college, we had uh, um, we had these things called floppy drives for you young people. The um, you get a floppy drive that that holds like um, it's a 5.25, which is like I'm glad they don't have them anymore. But that would that would make you smart if you saw a bunch of them. Or you had a bunch of them. They they just looked really cool. Um, then later on, they had smaller ones that were 3.5 uh, inches, and um, then they had uh, these ones that could hold a lot more memory. And they were like, they were like well coveted within within um, schools and stuff. You know what I mean? Like um, not schools, but offices and things. So if you had a drive hooked up to your computer, then you were like the man as far as nerds were concerned, and everybody thought you were cool. Not really, just me. And I, that's a modem, sorry. It just looks like one of those things. Uh, when I was younger, I, I uh, snuck one home to see what was up about it, you know, what made it so cool, but then by the time by the time I grabbed one, they were obsolete. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. <laughs> it was so stupid. So I was like, "Yeah, I got one," and it looks exactly like this thing. Only this thing is a modem. It's got the little things popping up. I was wondering why it was sitting on his desk. Doesn't make any sense. But every now and then, like whenever I worked in an office, they would um they would they would like want you to categorize their stuff so offices have this big problem of gathering computer crap and not doing anything with it on the back end well, dr octopus can draw his ass off over here but they wouldn't do anything on the back end so it'd be like you know they got a computer monitor and then the computer monitor works really well and it's huge, it's like 70 pounds, <laughs> it was big, um, and, uh, now everything's these flat screens or whatever, but, um, when, when I used to work in these things, they would, they would be like, hey, I got a job for you, I need you to categorize all this stuff so that we can, you know, um, take it off on the taxes or whatever, but, but the thing about obsolete computer stuff is that you can't make money off of it. Like, you can give it to somebody who needs it, you know. Totally walk up on a, a kid who's in school that needs a computer but can't afford one or would like a computer that's not fast. You could totally uh, give them that computer and they would be very happy to take it. You know what I mean? Um, they probably wouldn't be. They would hate that their shit is so slow. And you just handed them a slow ass computer that can't do shit. Like, my kids would be upset about it. But, um, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I give my daughter, I mean, my sister, uh, one of my faster computers to see what would happen. Here we go. And, um, she, uh, she enjoyed it, you know, because she's not, uh, she didn't want to pay for a new one and it was faster than the old one she had, I think. It wasn't really that fast, but anyway. Yeah. Back into the fryer with ye. Nine minutes. So, um... So, yeah. So, what happens is that... that uh, They start building up storage rooms full of outdated tech. And they don't do anything with it, you know? The, if you recycle computers... 
like 80% of it to 90% of it is garbage. And all they would save is like the the copper or whatever. And it really sucks. The plastic, all the plastic, the metal, all that stuff is not salvageable. Maybe the metal is. But anything plastic is not salvageable. Anything connected to plastic too much is not salvageable. The, um, I said nine minutes. Nine minutes before we, before we can eat. Huh? What do you mean, where is she? You're silly. My kids are so silly. Um, yeah, real talk. So, what I want to say? So, they would have me categorize all these things in a, a room that they just had spare for all these other crappy parts. And and they would be so obsolete, it's not even worth having them. I still don't know what people do with their old stuff that, you know. I just watched a video where a dude, a dude uh, got in trouble because he took old computers and repurposed them and made them not as obsolete and then put newer Windows uh, things on them, like newer Windows and and he was able to use them but he couldn't duplicate he could duplicate the disc but he re he put stickers on the discs to make them look like they were windows things and and didn't even oh you know what never mind it was sad let's see what this is anyway uh because he put windows on discs and they were just recovery discs and he put the uh recovery on the same computers over and over again uh he got in trouble for that even though he wasn't making money off of the uh operating systems being on the computers he's he's like making i think he was repurposing the computers but he's making money off the computers themselves but not the operating systems and it was free to make copies of the discs so he gave the people the discs and uh, because he put the stickers on to make them look all professional, Windows took him to court and said that he was stealing their stuff. And, um, or Microsoft took him to court. And he got in trouble. Like, bad trouble. Like, go-to-jail trouble, so. Anyway. Hmm. Well, this will never come of anything. Carbon fiber shell. Elbow joint funding on. Okay, I wanna watch it cause I don't watch TV. So what do you wanna do? Hi May. Well, let me guess, I'm running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... <laughs> Good. Okay. I'll be there soon. Bye! Aww. I don't like that it's blocked by... by, um... trees. Oh, that sucks. I don't know how to take pictures. You night owls may have seen lights flickering out at the wrapped Supermax prison last night. Sadly, it was not because one of their inmates got the chair. No. Apparently, someone there hit on an idea I actually think has merit, which is making that recidivist criminal Electro pay for his room and board by powering the prison himself, saving taxpayers money. Not surprisingly, though, it turns out he hates actual work as much as he loves robbing and murdering, so they had to go back to the city's grid, which I'd imagine is why I still can't run my microwave and toaster at the same time without blowing a fuse.
I've got a lot of people asking me what they can do now that they've woken up to the danger we're facing. I wish there were an easy answer. Obviously, we have to be aware of the danger posed by the criminal element, but we also need to hold to account those whose job it is to protect us. The police, these Sable agents who work for the mayor, work for us, and we must not tolerate anyone who contributes to the lawlessness sweeping Manhattan. And yes, that very much includes Spider-Man. Our next caller was involved in a frightening hostage situation. Tell us about it, please. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die. But Spider-Man got involved and he... Totally unconcerned with your safety. Well, he did save me. Through sheer luck, you could have been brutally killed. Yeah, sure, but I, I could have been killed if he wasn't there. Let's refrain from unfounded speculation and focus on solid established fact. Spider-Man does not care if you live or die. What are you doing here? Whoa, we got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? You hurt? You're Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros, okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time, but when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's... It's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing. Don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent, let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening, boom. Like that? Yeah, yeah, that's it, okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock, okay? I can take it. Oh, sh sorry No, 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 <laughs> it's all good. You keep that up and uh, you'll be fine. All right, lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh, thanks. You know, anytime. I just punch Spider Man.
Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would've bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Right, cool. Later. Farmer's Market. I can cut through there. Like half off at Decadent Spa. Half off. Huh. Hacking app. I wonder if it still works. Nice moves. Sable systems are unsecure. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Think I'll stay clear of those guys. Five by five control, area clear. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Maybe I could turn on that siren. Under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. You're fine. We have footage. I have the okay. The Stay calm. I gotta distract him. See anything? This is what happens when you Damn. Break. There's you a lot of broken glass see back see here. Get in New York alleyway. What'd you expect? I thought they'd be cleaner. Obviously. I see anybody back here, I'm throwing them in a cell. Mom? Hi, honey. Did you make it to the feast shelter okay? Uh, yeah. Almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. Alright, this is Editor Yusef. Um, my, uh, 
track like the um, audios run run out a while ago. <laughs> Dude, I I'm flabbergasted with this. Like I walk into the thing and everybody got like a jean thing on and I'm like all right, a little bit ago my Spider-Man got stuck in the building. So I'm like, oh, "Okay, that's that's the second time it's happened." All right. This time I'm doing this Miles Morales thing and he, he gets he's walking through a place that's supposed to be active and everybody's just frozen there. It's really weird. And I, I spend a little bit of time staring at everything because I, I I can't believe it. Like I literally thought I was walking into some Doctor Strange sort of Twilight Zone shit. And everybody was supposed to be like that. Like, I sat there waiting for uh, something to activate. Like, if I keep walking, the things activate. But it was just so weird. Like, you know, you kind of expect a T-pose or something like that. But it wasn't a T-pose. Everybody was just sitting there in jean outfits. Like, look, look. And then people are just, like, skating across the, the ground and stuff. Look at that. Hi, uh, there's a rat. Like, why? What? Anyway, yeah, dude. It was super weird. Like, Twilight Zone level. And I couldn't get over it. Like, I just kept walking around the area trying to trying to make sense of it. Even though it was just a glitch. Like, it was, it was just a glitch. But I'm just like, if I keep walking, will I get sucked in by Mr. Negative or something? What's going on here? Like, I had no idea. Alright, but anyway. Um, uh, Miles wanders around a little bit more. And then, uh, oddly enough, like, I just turn my head slightly and everything, the glitch stops. So, it, it's really weird. Once it actually stops, I'm like, oh. Okay, well, it was a glitch. That's fine. Then I just move on with my life. But yeah, before I thought this might have been part of the story because it was happening for so long. Look at this. Look at them. They're just floating. They're floating. And I'm running through them. Oh, I can't get, get to the courts here. They're blocking me. But yeah, I was walking through people. Don't know. Like, I'm trying to imagine what these people were supposed to be doing had they been animated, you know? Got breakdance battles going on. Those guys look normal. They're like, yeah, give me, give me, uh, recognize my skills. Where's the crowd at? Hey, you in the jean outfit, go ahead. You know, just overall weird. Why jean outfits? That's what I want to know. Why does everybody have a jean, like a jean, um, Face like some sort of weird, some sort of weird jean pants dominatrix thing. I, I, I just, oh, it weirded me out so much because there's so many questions that I had that were unanswered. Like, did we start with the jeans? Why is everybody wearing jeans? Why? It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the game. I'll be back soon, Mr. Punch. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. 
You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. <laughs> oh, hell! Damn hunk of junk! Uh, you mind if I take a look? Huh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... CR what, what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got the time. Get it. Go! Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, new kid. I'm empty here. Hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. I'll grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. Might be able to improve their performance for you. So, how's it going with your daughter, Eileen? Slow. I made mistakes raising her. Hard to get past. If you're talking, there's hope. Way to have the kids back. 